So this is, how do you say it? Chausson, is it? Chausson. 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 Uh, titanium 767GA, and it's on a Ford. It's 170 brake horsepower automatic. And the great thing about this is it's a 3,500 kilogram uh, MTPLM, and it's got a payload of 536. So this comes with things like uh, cruise control, cab air conditioning, automatic gearbox, reversing camera, electric hideaway bed, and it's only 55,512. Mm. Alloy wheels, really smart Ford alloy wheels, and a big garage. So you could easily get at least a couple of bikes in there, if not a couple of mopeds, even probably a, a smallish motorbike. You've got to watch your payload. But you've got to watch your payload. But that, then with 500 <laughs> kilogram payload, and you can, of course, upgrade this one to, what do you say, 4.1. 4 4 .1. So that'll give you another 600 kilograms payload. Yeah, so it's compressor fridge. Quite a small compressor fridge. Drop down bed at the front with lockers. And this bit here. There's a sofa that makes into a travel seat. Oh, yeah. It's quite nice. But it's on a Ford. Automatic. We did look at this at the NEC. This particular model, I think it was, a 727 GA. I'll try and put a link up the top there. Combi oven, electric hot plate. You got somewhere to sit in the middle well, of the bed. Still <laughs> really, really high up there. Yeah. Well, it's not, is it? Actually, no, this is not, not that high just, up. Uh, if you, when you look down there, you feel as if. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, here. you're you're sitting up there on your throne, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a big. It's a big washroom. So there's plenty of space to shower in there. Obviously toilet gets wet but, but so that, got, that door that comes round is sort of like a half door isn't it? Well it's only that just covers the, the, the cupboard oh, so I you see. don't get all right. your bits I wet. With you. And these these close off. Right. So that just closes closes like that. Like that. It meets the other door in the middle. Right. That's quite good. And this I think I found before there's enough headroom for me in here. Just about. about yeah. Know, just about touching it. Yeah. Rather not have it if you're not going to use it. Right? No, no. I think you can buy it without the drop-down bed. But you, you obviously you've got the big advantage. You've got a travel seat there. Don't think that one makes into a travel seat, but I might be wrong. Can't see any seat belts on. Yeah. Gotta open at least one locker. What? They sort of fly open, they do. <laughs> so hidden away here is the Travel Line 711. I didn't really get a chance to have a proper look at this at the NEC. No, there's too many people in it, there were a huge number of people in it. So this is a Chausson, it's on a Fiat Ducato. Payload is 454, so that's not bad. It's 3500, so it's license friendly. The thing about this one is it's got a U-shaped lounge. So you've got all your controls in there. So you've got access to the water tank there. So you can fill it from this point here. So you've got all electrics on one side and water on the other. That's good. The big thing that's different with this is that you've got two proper travel seats. A glamorous assistant is modeling the travel seats. Is that <laughs> nice? Very nice, yeah. Very nice. And you've got drop down bed above, which takes 200, I'm going to say 2,000, 250 kilograms. Little slimline fridge here. Little slimline fridge. Oh, let's just sit down. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just enjoying the comfort of these seats. Yeah, that's nice. You'd have to watch you didn't accidentally press that while you were in the kitchen, wouldn't you? Bed up, bed down. Yes, yeah, so it's sitting here. <laughs> Someone asked, why don't I try the drop down bed? I oh, know, I think they switched them off. <laughs> they probably switched them off. I want people, you can imagine people coming in and doing the drop down bed every time they have a look at it. They wear the battery out in no time. 
And it comes must come down to about Yeah, it comes down to about here, doesn't it? Yeah, so you probably have to fold these seats down. Yeah, these seats will collapse, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly different this, isn't it? Yeah. I mean if you're not bothered about having a sofa layout but why would you bother about having a sofa layout when you've got a big U shaped lounge at the back? Yeah. This is very nice. Because what you've got under here why all this space here is you've got a garage under there mm. yeah so this this area has also got a drop down bed and, yeah above you little fold away table and you've got a similar sort of um wet room really with a duck board as in the other van big mirror and you can close that area off somehow that closes the air the oh it slides around that's a one that goes all the way around there yeah it's definitely very unusual isn't it? it is very unusual yeah. it's for people who want a garage yeah but but also want a rear lounge yeah so you've got a be bit of both there so you've got a reasonable size lounge area and a garage below massive cupboards at the back mm. This one won this one won awards. That's not easy to say. No, this did this one win awards. Win awards. Yeah. So that's for the bed up and down. What's that one for there? It's like a ladder. I don't know. I don't know what that what that's for. It's probably the front and rear bed, isn't it? I can see the end of There's another no, one there. No, that's, that's for the front bed. That's the front bed, I don't that's know. That's for the back bed, but that looks like a ladder. That'll be a good one. Yeah. Questions and answers on a postcard, I think. There's two beds in here, two drop down beds. Well, isn't that a bed then? Well, you, you can make that into a bed. Four, it's, it? Yeah, but you've got the drop down bed there, you see. So, so you've got a drop down bed here, a drop down bed here. So that's, that's, just, a make, that's just a seating that's, area. Well, it's a seating area, but obviously, if you drop the bed down, Can't you can use that as well. And you've got these fantastic seats. It's, it's a really different layout, this one. It really is. And doors on either side. It's nice, it's yeah. got electric... Um, electric hot plate. Going back yeah. to the Van Royce, isn't it? Where you had doors on either side. <laughs> so you've got a little occasional table in there for your coffee. Very nice sort of leather, leather seats. Obviously on a Fiat. Cab blinds. Yeah, it's different. Okay, thanks. Well, we did say we'd bring you some used vans, so what we're looking at here is the uh, Autosleeper Corinium FB 2017 for 54,995, 8,000 miles on the clock, and its weight is 4,000, so you wouldn't have any problems with payload, but you would need a C1 license. What a step up. Twin sofa layout. It's a really nice lounge in here. Yeah, it's a very, very spacious feeling lounge. Yeah. And this is a 2017 model, so a couple of years old. There also so much space there. Yeah, there's a lot of space across there in the middle, isn't there? It look, almost looks like it's got a slide out, doesn't it? Bizarre. Yeah, it does, it feels like it. Yeah. Because it's, it's, you've got this space here. Reasonable amount of workspace there, mm -hmm. I would say. Electric hot plate, three gas burner, extractor fan, uh, the Thetford Caprice, oven grill. Recognise that fridge. Let me put the latch thing on there. So yeah. that day, that, this day, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to <laughs> microwaves now. <laughs> that one we, yeah. to, you know, in the baby yeah. advance that we couldn't, un yeah. didn't work properly anyway, yeah. but we couldn't understand. Yeah, that's it was similar to that, wasn't it? Yeah. but they, we just had like the little pictures. Yeah, couldn't read it, could we? No. That was the, the thing. At least this you could see that's the controls. A lot better. Yeah, this one's Truma blown air heating. The the button panel. I'm going to say a touchscreen. It's not a touchscreen at all, is it? 
table. That's oh, no, a table. It's not your table. Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Yeah, that's your standalone table. What do you think about that table? I don't know how wide it is, but you've got such a big gap <laughs> there. Would it? Would you reach it from either side? I suppose you must be able to. Well, I'd, I'd just move it closer to me if it was a problem. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right. Let's have a look in here. Ooh. So yeah, the FB is the f is the French bed. So sort of a sliding cut off on this one. It's quite wide at the head. And tapers off to the tail. We will be finding out shortly how we get on with the French beds, won't we? <laughs> we've always <Yep. laughs> we've always shaken our heads at it, haven't we? Telly points up there. We've got a nice sort of thing up there, but I think I'd like a cupboard up there. Well, I suppose they, there is the worry that someone yeah, I suppose. Their head. Yeah, I suppose so. So you have got plenty of headroom from down there to up there. You've got like a little vanity unit here, which is quite nice. You can sit here and admire yourself. <laughs> and a sort of glass fronted cupboard down the bottom. But you've got like a wardrobe area. This looks like this is a fantastic wardrobe. It is. That is amazing. Yeah, so look at the size of that. That is a double width wardrobe. Your and big coat would have no problem in there, would it? No. And you've still got drawers below as well. So, yeah, storage for clothes and things in here would not be a problem. Let's find the next door. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few doors in here, aren't there? A bit like ours. Like three <laughs> doors. So you've got it's not a bad not a bad washroom but if I get in here that this is quite quite tight here. Mm. Oh, if I put it over there. Stand in here. Yeah, I'm just about getting my belly room. behind the, the sink there. Yeah. Not a lot of room for you know getting down getting down here. No. And you've got you've got a good sized shower, a nice square, deep shower, with somewhere to put your soap and shampoo and stuff. Two drain holes. Not bad for fifty five thousand. No, it's, it's nice and you can shut yourself off in this bit here. Yeah, you can't get out now. No, I'm trapped in here. Oh, the leather trim steering wheel. That's nice. Yeah, seen all that before, I guess. Mm. But yeah, we like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. But we've be, been asked to look by Frazzle Carioca. I hope I've got that right. At three and a half ton A class motor. So this is a Pilo G740 GJ Sensation. This is three and a half tons, and it's got a payload of four five five kilograms. So it sounds okay. But what I've been told by the salesman just now is that they can only say that this is two berth on 3,500 kilograms. And all manufacturers are tending to do this because they don't feel that they can claim you can carry four people with all their goods mm. at 3,500 kilograms on a van that's seven and a half metres long. Let's have a look. Wow really good in here look at this this is terrific isn't it like this. in reality what you're going to do with this fan is you're going to get it up plated yes because you you couldn't you simply couldn't fit four people in here and still stay under the weight limit no, no. so you know why bother with a four berth fan this is very nice but yeah Let's have a look at the van instead. The first van we ever hired was a Pilo, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was an A-Class. Yeah. Remember that, that front was amazing. Yeah. So this is a nice lounge. Yeah. Let's have a look at the kitchen. It's very sort of white in here. There's a lot of white wood. We've only got a two burner, two gas burner hob there. Quite a big gas burner. It's a USB in the kitchen. combi oven. Nice to see our combi ovens in. They're French aren't they these vans? Mm. 
extractor fan. I thought my phone was ringing just then and it wasn't. I'd have to stop putting this fridge in everywhere. Yeah, well that's It's getting a bit boring, yeah. I can't I know, open it. I know. A, a little mirror there. Sort of mirror, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a good size shower, yeah. Shower, yeah. With a hanging rail. Soap dishes at the bottom. That is nice. You can, you can shut me off. Yeah. Shut me off. That's it, toilet. Sink. And a little cupboard there. Oh, that's good. But the nice thing about this, are you coming in, Jen? Yeah. The really nice thing about this from our point of view is these single beds. This is nice. Yeah. We, we do tend to like the pillow, don't we? Mm. It's a slidey pulley out thing. thing. Has it got a button on it or something? I don't know. Pull it too much. Push that. Can you do that? Push that in. There you go. So you can shut the bedroom off as well. Once we've figured out how to um, release it. Hello. <laughs> Bite me. You've got somewhere to store your cushions. Hanging space. A different catch there. Hanging space again. I won't have any more cupboards. But you've got a nice little area here, haven't you? In between the beds. So you could put a cushion there, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. So you could like those five beds, you could yeah. The mattress there. The great thing about this van is that these beds are not too high. Mm. I mean, we don't need a huge garage. We're not carting half a dozen kids with their assorted paraphernalia about. We've got space to put our aqua roller, waste master, and an awning. We've got speakers in the back here. Yeah, speakers uh, in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. USB there. No TV, so you need a USB. One. You need a TV fitted in here, wouldn't you, somewhere? It'd be a bit well, there, wouldn't it? Well, you'd be up all the way back. I suppose we'd go all the way back. We'll do that now. I think I think you'd probably put cushion here and make it mm. easier to to get into. But yeah, it's a great long bed. That's good size. I'll put my feet on the, on the bed. But yeah. And you've got cupboard space under there? Yes, and it goes way, way back under there. Yeah, so presumably there's more space under here. Oh, I can't. Does that, if that lifts up or not? No, it doesn't. That must be a garage on the, on the back there. A locker, but you can't get to it from here by the looks of it. Is it the same on this one? This one's got some drawers. Ah, yeah. So I've got two drawers instead of. Yeah, two dr two drawers at the bottom there. Down bed at the front. They're really nice travel seats, mm, driving seats. You've got this great. I mean, think about A class is you've got all this area at the side here, haven't you? Mm. Which gives you cab a big open feel. And I suppose it provides better insulation than the, the standard cab set up. Yeah, so 71,855, 150 brake horsepower engine, 16 inch alloy wheels, additional sleeping in lounge, so that must be the drop down bed then. Yeah. So you could do without that. You don't have to have the drop you down bed. By then. the sounds of it, you don't have to, no. No. 7 inch dab radio carpets uh, pack that GB pack so GB pack gets you an oven carpets mattress cover and cushions so they don't do cushions then on the continent where's the cushions then? I don't know it's probably probably in the cupboard <laughs> but yeah the seats look really nice fly screen it's a little touch screen thing here oh that's nice oh look at that 
I like touch screens, I don't care what Glenn says. <laughs> I suppose you can always change the touch screen, but what that's doing there. <laughs> Economy on a charge. <laughs> there, your trimmer heating. Another Pilo here, this is a Pilo Sensation, sorry, Pilo G. 650 sensation, three and a half meters, 550 kilograms payload. Again, it's four berth with a drop down bed. Let's have a look inside. Quite nice and try the seats, Jen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same seats. Yeah, so it's a similar sort of front lounge here, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Similar sort of kitchen. It's on the opposite side, though, isn't it? Is it on the, the other opposite? one? Yeah. Okay. So I think because the TV in the other one was on that oh, side. That's right. This that's better for the TV bracket, I would have thought. Yeah. And this one's got an island bed, so that's obviously the reason for this fan. And this bed goes up and down, I believe, so you can make more space in the little garage underneath. So you've got a walk-in shower come toilet area. Pretty compact. I think there's like a cupboard in there. There's a duck duckboard on the floor. No, that works. What's that work? Oh, I don't know what that does. Oh, is this a uh, like a hinge? I'm not sure how that works. Oh, there you go. There's a thing there. Look. That's it. I've got it. Wow, look at that. That's like Transformers, isn't it? <laughs> Robots in disguise. That's good. I was looking at that and I suddenly saw that little catch there. Oh. And then, da 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 da. Oh, swing wall. Swing wall bathroom. Yeah, wasn't that a good idea? Yeah, well, that was what we had on a... Well, it wasn't like that, but it was a, a swing wall bathroom mm. on the Starfire that we had. Yeah. Quite a nice way to walk around to this bed, so that's good. Your only divider here is... Space. Yeah, but well, that's easy to use. Yeah, it's very quick as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if someone goes in the fridge... Yeah. I can't, I can't get it's, it's there. Right. You couldn't really have a door though because the no, door goes. No, it would bang like against that. it, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, that's good. Bridge. Nowhere to put the telly. No, well, there wasn't any other thing. Like no, no. Perhaps they don't do tellies in bed. No, so the your little portable. The, my little portable, <laughs> yeah. You prefer the twin bed one? You prefer the twin bed one? I think so. I don't oh, no, no, look. See what you think. Maybe I don't. Report, report back. I'm just going to have a look at this seat here. Look at that. It's a little seat here. It's <laughs> if you want to sit in the door. Yeah. No, there seems to be more room. I've got to figure out how to put this back, haven't I now? <laughs> this thing just bit me. That's how it shuts. I don't think you want to use that. I don't think I want to use that Maybe again. Maybe it gets easier with use. Ow, trap me thumb in it. Oh. Little touch screen. That's a bit close to your head, that. I'm down there, there. Yeah, it is. I'd have this without the drop down bed if I could. Have we ever slept four people in our motor home? No, but we've maybe. got grandchildren or... No, or maybe we're just... Uh, we've got, just got dogs, have we? Maybe we're just unpopular with people. No one wants to stay with us. No. USBs in the kitchen, extractor fan. Two burner hob. Done all that, haven't I? I think so. Yeah. Oh, not really here, you. Yeah, very nice there. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, so that's 73,757. Was it? Can't really see the front of it, but. And you've got these coach type mirrors. A bit windswept now and we've been outside um, but we've mainly spent uh, this morning indoors looking at some of the, uh, the newer vans so perhaps what I'll do tomorrow is I'll come and have a look at some of the used vans and hopefully it won't be quite as windy or cold. It's too cold really that's especially yeah. my um, Yeah you're, you're struggling with your ear aren't you so yeah, yeah. we'll take you back and uh, edit what you've got. Edit what we've got and we'll come back tomorrow. Yep. So that's it for now give us remember to give us a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already subscribed, why haven't you subscribed yet? <laughs> Plenty of people heard that we met today, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they said they had. They said they had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so subscribe uh, and hit that notifications icon, the little bell thingy, and uh, you'll get updates when we release another video and you won't miss another of our exciting adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to build it up too much. Then. <laughs> so, see you soon then. Yeah, bye yeah, then. Bye then. <laughs>